Hey guys, what is up? This is Sarthak back again with another cool video where I'm going to show you how you could install Android Studio on your system. So head over to this site developer.android.com and you will be redirected to this page. Once you are here, if you are on Windows 64 bit, simply just click on download Android Studio. But if you are on Mac, Linux or other operating systems, click on download options. Over here you can see there are two download options available for Windows 64 bit with one installer and one without an installer. The installer one is highly recommended by Google and next up we have Mac 64 and Linux 64 also Android Studio is available for Chrome OS. So as I am on Windows 64 bit I'll simply click on this download Android Studio button. I've read all these terms and conditions beforehand, so I'll simply click the checkbox. And now you can click on the download Android Studio for Windows button. There you go, now the download process has begun. It will completely depend upon your internet speed that how long it might take. A few moments later. You can simply run the installer to install Android Studio. There you go, the Android Studio setup has appeared. Make sure the checkbox Android Virtual Device is ticked. Select the installation location, I am going to leave it as it is. Over here you can choose the start menu folder where you want Android Studio to be placed in. Also you can click on this checkbox if you don't want to create any shortcuts. I am going to leave it in the default state. Now finally click on the install button. Wait till Android Studio gets installed. You can see the message setup was completed successfully. Now click on next. Over here you can see it says Android Studio has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close setup. By default, the start Android Studio checkbox is ticked. I will simply click on the finish button and Android Studio will start up for the first time. As you can see, it says missing SDK, no Android SDK found. Before continuing, you must download the necessary components or select an existing SDK. Hit next and download the Android SDK, which is about 373 megabytes. Now you can browse the location where you want to install it. I'm going to leave it as it is and hit next. Now it is going to show you all the SDK components it is going to install. The total download size is about 615 megabytes. I'm going to hit finish so that they can be installed. Click the show details button to see what stuff is being downloaded. Now click on the finish button. This is the home screen of Android Studio when you open it up for the first time. You can open an existing project or create a new project. When you open a project for the first time in Android Studio, the Gradle build process might take longer than it usually does because it is going to download some important files.
So that is it for this video guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Till that time peace and I'll see you in the next one.